Hello, hello again, my T and Tarot family. And thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. If this resonates with you, leave me a comment and let me know. I'm going to see what is the intentions of your person. This is for the collective. What is the intentions of the collective person? Alright, shuffle. What is the intentions of the person the collective is dealing with? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, Spirit, so what is the intentions of the person that the collective is dealing with? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so you could have walked away from someone here. And walk towards your money. You could be focusing on your money here. But this person wants to come in and have a, a, a new future with you. This person could possibly want to, to come towards you, build with you, have forward movement with you. They see a, a, a fortunate future here with you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor here. Tell me more spirit about this eight of cups, about the intentions of the collective person. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so you walked away from somebody that stabbed you in the back. Okay, um, this could be this person or this could be the what you left and this is how you're going to walk into this person to meet this person. Because this could be someone you haven't met yet. But I do feel like the majority of you walked away from things that were no longer serving you and you did the work in your healing here. Tell me more, Spirit, about the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yes. Yeah, somebody could have had a lot of choices and options. Okay. <laughs> You could have a lot of choices and options now. Tell me more. Thank y'all. Okay, so, so I feel like you walked away. <laughs> I'm getting the whole story. So I feel like you guys walked away from somebody who was, you know, doing their thing. They had a lot of choices and options. They stabbed you in the back. They weren't treating you good here. And you're moving towards here to... <laughs> You, you're moving towards your stability. Not only are you moving towards your stability because you went and worked on yourself here. You're moving towards someone who wants to come in and give you and build with you here with this ten of coins here. So this new person that's coming in is going to want to build with you. They're going to want something long-term, stable here. Um, generational wealth, the house, the family, the kids, the grandkids, leaving money for the great-grandkids, the great-great-grandkids, that type of stuff here, okay? Um... This person that is coming in, I do feel like is a very spiritual person as well. I also feel like this is a gift from God here. I feel like you did the work, you got the lesson, so now you're being re rewarded here. And I do feel like this is going to come in quickly. Look, I can't get up. I've seen the chariot and then the eight of stars. So um, this person, if you haven't met this person yet, this person will be coming in. You will be having a lot of conversation, a lot of travel, a lot of dates with this person. This person is going to put in the effort here. Okay? Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of spending time together. This person wants to travel to you. They want to see you. They're going to want to put a lot of, um, time and interest into you. Tell me more. Page of Swords. This person could possibly be watching you. Um, if they haven't. If you haven't met this person yet, they could have seen you from the past or, or seen you around, you know, possibly watching you on some type of platform or something of this nature. Or once you meet this person, this person is going to watch you. This person is going to um, be into you. You know what I'm saying? Like all eyes on you. They're going to come in and bring balance. They're gonna. It's going to be equal give and take. They're going to be patient. And this person's going to come in and make you some type of offer here. It may be a small token in the beginning. It's going to start off small, but it will grow. Both of these are pages. The page of swords and the page of coins. But it ends in the ten of coins here, okay? So this person is going to take their time, but they're going to put in the effort. They're going to, to give you equal give and take. They're going to pour into you just like you pour into them, okay? Um, but this person is going to give you a lot of communication. They're going to come to you and spend a lot of time with you here. 
I just want to be your man. Who is this? How does it feel, Vito, y'all? Y'all know I fucks with Vito. <laughs> Every time that we touch, I want to know how does it feel, yeah. Whenever he goes low, how does it feel? How does it feel? Okay, spirit. Any more? Tell me more. Anything more about the intentions of this person coming in? I think we're done. I mean, this is a short video. Quick, straight to the point, you guys. Nothing else is coming out. Oh, here we go. Okay, so spirit said you need to release the past here. Okay? Yeah. You need to release the heartache. Okay? Release your past so that this person can come in. You need to make sure you're healed before this comes in. Okay? So this is not going to come in until after you release the past and you're healed from the past. Okay? But it is here. You have teamwork and you have somebody that's going to come in and be... Who's going to come in and give you clarity. But Spirit is saying that you need to let your guard down. And you're not going to let your guard down until after you heal. So you need to heal. You're in King of Swords energy right now. You're blocking and cutting off everything coming your way. You're not trying to hear, see, feel. Listen to your intuition, okay? For you block and miss out on this person right here that's coming in. So do the work. Heal. Release your past. So that you can call in this new beginning right here. Because you have something beautiful. Somebody's going to come in and they wants to have a team with you. They want to build with you. They're going to give you and show you what you want and need here in this relationship. And you are manifesting this. And this person is also manifesting this. Look, I got the two of cups up under that as well. This, this is a soulmate. This is a divine connection here. Okay? You're manifesting this in a positive new beginning here. Passionate new beginning. And the sex is going to be good. Okay? Good sex. Good convo. Spend time. Put the effort in. Shit. You better heal or you're going to miss out on this, y'all. Okay, guys. Until next time. Love, light, and peace. Bye, guys.